Hello, I'm John, your facilitator for the evening, and welcome to the Orange County Department of Education Virtual College and Career Exploration and Discovery Fair. We thank you so much for having us here as well, and we want to make sure that you have a wonderful experience this evening. This is a webinar style event, and so because of that, your camera and microphone are off, so we cannot see or hear you. But to interact with us this evening, please put any kind of questions that you have for our reps in the Q&A area that's below on your screen. Also, do not forget there are other sessions that will be going on this evening as well. So please explore those opportunities, find out more about different opportunities that are all around the world as well. At the end of this event, there will be a quick survey that you'll want to fill out for us. And also at the very, very end, you will be able to get a video of this in about two weeks. So make sure at strivescan.com slash COSI, you'll be able to find that link for that in about a week as well. But that is all to kind of get things going for us as well. Now we're going to turn it over to our reps for the evening. And first we're going to have EHL Switzerland. Good evening, everyone. My name is Daniel Flores, and I'm here representing EHL. Uh, we go by a 3-2-1 model. So what that means is actually the three is the locations that are right in front of you. On the left-hand side, we have Lausanne, Switzerland, in the French-speaking part. In the middle is Pasug, Switzerland, in the Swiss-German-speaking part. And on the right-hand side is Singapore. First thing to note is the program is taught entirely in English. You do not need to know the local language to attend. In addition, the two in the 3 one model is the different pathways we have. To make it super simple, one pathway is the professional pathway, and that's really for somebody who's keen into culinary arts or hotel administration specifically. The academic pathway is somebody who wants something a little bit more business style and may be interested in hotels and restaurants, maybe not, but you want a little bit more flexibility. Uh, the one is the amount of bachelor's degrees that we offer. We offer one. It's a bachelor's of science in international hospitality management. Now, the first thing to note is hospitality is not just hotels and restaurants. Once again, hospitality is not just hotels and restaurants. This is a business program with a focus on premier guest experience. Now, as far as what the campus is going to look like and, the, and some quick facts, we have around 3,900 total students, 3,300 are in our undergrad program. This is our dress code. We wear suits every single day. The whole point is to prepare you for the real world. If you've never walked in heels before, if you've never tied a tie before, if you've never worn a fitted suit, we want you to do that while you're in college. So that way, when you get out into the real world, you know how to present yourself. Uh, we have students from over 120 different nationalities. So this is truly an international school. There are also a lot of firsts with EHL. We are the world's first hotel school. We started off in 1893. In addition to that, we are currently ranked globally for the past three years as the world's number one hospitality and leisure management program. In addition, we are the world's first school to have a Michelin star training restaurant. If you want to be a chef, great. If you don't want to be a chef, that's also OK. We want to teach you how to create a Michelin star experience. In addition to that, we were the first school to have Swiss and American accreditation. So all this is really to give you some flexibility for if you want to work or continue your education worldwide, you can do that with EHL. Now, Pasu, this is perched right in the hills in the Swiss German speaking part, very boutique style. If you love outdoor activities such as mountain climbing, uh, snowboarding, skiing, if you love medical spas, there's well over 30 and about a 30 minute drive from here. So definitely, if you're looking for a getaway destination, Pasug is a great opportunity for you. Now, if you want something more of a university style, that's where we have our Lausanne campus. Two brand new apartment buildings, three brand new dorms. Everything is environmentally sustainable. Uh, we're also working on our indoor gym, indoor pool, indoor spa. So there's definitely a lot of amenities that you'll be having as future students. And also being centrally located in Switzerland in a three hour flight from Geneva, you're in up to 36 different countries. So once again, even if you get tired of Lausanne or Pasuk, hop on over to Madrid, hop on over to Italy, hop on over to France. You can do that on the weekends. This is your college experience. Now, if you want to get a little bit of an Asian experience too, we also have our campus in Singapore. In a three hour flight from Singapore, you're in 18 different countries. So if you wanna to go to Bali, Thailand, 
uh, you can do that over the weekends too. But Singapore is really the business hub of Asia. So if you're looking for internship or job opportunities, or honestly, if you just want to travel there, you get the opportunity to do that here. So with our program, it's structured as such. The first six months of our program, you switch off courses every single week in Lausanne. So you are doing anything from making chocolates, making pastries, drinking wine, to then cleaning toilets, making beds, learning French, visiting and eating at a three Michelin star restaurant. You do that for six months, and then immediately after that, you have your first six-month internship anywhere around the world. After that, you have three semesters of business courses, hospitality courses, and language courses. We offer German, French, Russian, Mandarin, Spanish, and then you apply that to your second six-month internship anywhere around the world. Then in your final year, you take management courses, elective courses, and you finish off the program being a consultant for a real company. You solve a problem either by yourself with up to five other people. You decide, hey, I actually want to start my own business plan. We have a startup incubator on campus to help you do that. Or you decide you want to do research thesis. No matter what you choose, you have at least one expert coach guiding you the entire way, and you present this to your entire graduating class. This is what leads us to have 96% of our students get a job within six months of graduation. And that's the highest of any school offering this program. Now, once again, hospitality is not just hotels and restaurants. A little bit under 50% of our alumni go into the traditional, what people think hospitality is. So yes, hotels, restaurants, banqueting, airlines, whatnot. But this is a business school too. Banking, accounting, NGOs, education, healthcare, health and beauty, luxury goods, anything where you're working with people, you can do it with hospitality. We have over 100, or we have over 30,000 alumni working in over 150 countries. We're preparing you for a global career. These are only some of the com companies that are hiring our students, whether it's for internships or for full-time jobs. And what you will notice again, they are not just hotels and restaurants. Last but not least, we are on Common App and we also have our institutional website where you can apply. We do accept financial aid. So if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to take a picture of this uh, slide. This is my contact info. And thank you so much for um, learning more about EHL today. All right, thank you so much, EHL. Next, we'll have University of North Carolina, Wilmington. All right, hello everyone. My name is Tanisha Young and I'm a first year admissions coordinator here at the University of North Carolina in Wilmington. And I am a double alum of UNCW. So I'm here just to share a little bit more about our people, our programs and our place and talk a little bit about our tourism major that we have here at UNCW. Um, but to begin, I first want to talk about Wilmington, North Carolina in case you may not be familiar with our city or the state. So we are located in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is a southeastern town right on the tip of the coast of North Carolina. We do have an international airport just 15 minutes from campus, so it's very um, convenient for our out-of-state students to utilize that airport whenever they do want to go back home to their home state. But Wilmington, the town, is known as a tourist destination within the state of North Carolina, mainly for our beaches in our downtown area. We have three surrounding island beaches, Wrightsville Beach, that is our nearest to the campus location, which is just a 15 minute drive from campus. And then we additionally have Curry Beach and Carolina Beach, about 25 minutes from our campus. Also 15 minutes from our campus is the historical downtown riverfront area of Wilmington. And that is a designated area that has hundreds of different shops, restaurants, cafes, nighttime life, bars, a lot of different activities that students can get involved with and participate in after classes or on the weekend when they want to branch off of campus. And it's just very convenient that our campus is centrally located in our city. We are the eighth largest city in the state of North Carolina. So it's a great community if you are truly looking for a great in-between of a not so small city, but not as large a uh, big city as our state capital, Raleigh, North Carolina. At UNCW, we are a mid-sized institution. So we're just under 18,000 total students here at the institution. About 14,600 of those are undergraduate students. But even though we are mid-sized, we do have more of a smaller class size feel within the academic classroom. So average class size is 27, and then we have an 18 to one student to faculty ratio. 
to talk a little bit more about Wilmington specifically in relation to our tourism degree here at UNCW, our city does offer a lot of great opportunities um, that you can kind of be involved in outside of your academics. So we'll definitely have internship opportunities where you can leave the state or even go abroad, but it's nice throughout your full four years, you'll have the city of Wilmington to really help with boosting your resume, having a lot of various different activities that you can be involved in. As mentioned, our beach towns really do bring in a lot of tourists throughout the summer months, but we also have Screen Gems filming studios located in Wilmington, so we have a lot of TV shows and movies are here, so we always have a lot of guests, as well as having a lot of different hotels within the riverfront area, uh, aquarium, a lot of just natural things that students are trying or guests are trying to come to our city for. So it really does provide the opportunity for you to have that hands-on experience outside of our curriculum. To talk a little bit about our curriculum for tourism management, you really are going to be within our School of Health and Applied Human Sciences. These are a couple of the learning outcomes that our program specifically is trying to assist a student to have these skills when they graduate from the institution. You'll really learn how to create your own professional marketing plan for a tourism business, learning different uh, principles and practices of safety, emergency, and risk management. You'll learn how to create your own operational budget. And then you'll have a couple of foundational courses that really just go back and think about the historical component of leisure service and how where customer service comes from and how to provide excellent quality of service. So that is really the main core curriculum of UNCW for our tourism degree here at the institution. So it really does set you up for those next steps going into either hospitality within hotels or restaurants, working in any convention centers or any private resorts. Because of our degree really is servicing other students and other communities, we really want to ensure that you have an actual applied learning hands-on experience during your degree. So this program does require for you to have an internship and it actually will take place the last semester of your senior year where you're gonna be working a full-time job within one of those um, internship sites. These are a couple of our agencies that we partner with. We partner with over 200 that range from within the state to abroad opportunities such as you see here, Alaska. Our red point is in Chile. So a lot of great opportunities for you to really experience different communities and learn about how different cultures impact the type of service you provide for whichever service you're trying to produce at that organization or business. As mentioned, you do have great opportunities to either go abroad, do research opportunities, work with nonprofit organizations. All of our students have 100% participation rate, so you're guaranteed that experience before you graduate from the institution. And this slide is just some general information about our campus life and our academics. The nice thing about UNCW is you won't declare your major until you are a sophomore. So you do have time before deciding you want to go into the tourism major, or you may decide that you want to do something different like business or communication studies that does have an events uh, planning component within that. And then as mentioned, we are just a large uh, mid-sized school that offers a lot. So we have over 300 clubs and organizations. We are a division one athletic program with 19 different teams. So there's a lot that you can get involved in on campus as well as the off campus area. We really go over many of the same components of the mission that other institutions do. The big component that I wanna highlight that is that we are test optional this year. So it's not gonna be required for test scores if you're applying to UNCW. And I know I'm running um, on time, but if you do have further questions, Christopher Walls will actually be your main point of contact. All of our applicants have a direct contact within our office and they're gonna be the main one to assist you with your application. So feel free to take a picture of the slide and the QR code to learn a little bit more about UNCW in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, UNC Wilmington. Next, we're gonna have IE University Spain. All right, hola, hello everyone. My name is Micah Trubman. I'm the Associate Director for IE University. I am from the US and also went to IE, so please feel free to connect with me after. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Fun facts about Spain. I know not everybody's been there, but these are some of my fun facts um, that I personally love. Um, one, Spain is the second most visited country in the world. 
Um, Spain is also ranked in the top five for Michelin stars. So if you're a foodie, this is definitely a place to be. There are a lot of holidays in Spain and it's an incredibly just open and vibrant country to study and um, even travel in. Um, but if you're somebody who has a passion for travel or would like to travel, likes to learn about different cultures, be in diversity, um, loves languages, um, nightlife, beaches, all that fun stuff, Spain is a great place. We do have two campuses at IE that are both located in Spain. Our first campus is in Segovia, which is about 30 minutes northwest of Madrid, which is the capital. It was built in 1218 and it's in a rural setting. So if you like mountains, nature, um, those old buildings and castles kind of romantic feeling that's definitely Segovia. It is protected by the United Nations because it's a world UNESCO site. So if you were into international relations, this is a really good school to check out. Our other location is in Madrid, which I mentioned is the capital. It is urban, it's a faster paced lifestyle. Um, we do have our IE Tower, which is the third tallest uh, university in the world and the first and only high rise university in all of Europe. A little bit uh, diving deeper into IE, we are one of the world's most international universities. Over 75% of our students are coming from all over the world to study at IE, which makes up over 140 nationalities. There are many languages spoken on campus, but all of our programs are taught in English. Um, we are known for our practical teaching methodology, and we like to keep our class sizes small. We are highly ranked, um, so again, if you do love traveling or see yourself maybe working in a different country after graduation, almost half of our students do so. 95% um, of them report a job within six months, and we have a lot of companies globally who recruit our students before they even graduate. We are known for entrepreneurship, so we're an entrepreneurial uh, business school at heart. We're ranked number one in the world, um, and we're also known for tech, innovation, humanity, sustainability. Um, these are going to be just a snapshot of some of our degrees. We do offer four-year single degrees and five-year dual degrees. The five-year dual degrees, you are graduating with two diplomas, so it's not just like a major and a minor like you would find here at the U.S. We do have some amazing partnerships as well. So just to kind of highlight our law program, we have a 3-2 program with Northwestern, which means you'll study at IE for three years and then transfer to Northwestern for your JD and be a practicing lawyer in five years, which is unheard of. Um, but the idea at IE is to really build your own path. So yes, you could be studying business or you want to become an entrepreneur or you're studying communications and want to go to marketing, but we want to give you the best experience possible and to curate what you would like and combining what you're studying with what you're passionate about through electives, advanced seminars. Um, as an example, you could be learning about cryptocurrency um, or take electives outside of your uh, program. We do offer international exchanges, internships, and IE labs. And the difference between IE labs and internships is IE labs are offered to first and second year students to start building your resume. Again, you can mix and match. One year you go in finance, maybe another you go in marketing, um, whatever it may be. But it's a great resume building um, way to get experience and kind of find a path that you want to uh, pursue. Um, I mentioned international, international exchanges. We've got over 160 top ranked partners worldwide. Um, so the world is your oyster, your oyster. And we have a vibrant campus life. So we've got over 125 clubs ranging from Yes Theory to a theater club. Um, we even have Olympians at IE. So we've got Olympic snowboarders, skiers, horseback riders. Um, this is our last graduating class of 2020. We don't have the report for 2021 because we wait at least six months. Um, but you can see that most people go into finances, consumer goods, retail, hospitality, and sprinkled everything in between. Um, our application is pretty straightforward. We are available on Common App. Um, we do take the SETs and ACTs. If you haven't taken those, please take our admissions test. And we do also do um, an interview. Um, we offer financial aid and scholarships to all students who have been accepted into IE. Um, there are over 21 that you can choose from, and I'm here to help you every step of the way, so please get in contact with me. But for those that are younger than 12th grade, we do have opportunities for 11th grade students, like an 80% scholarship global challenge, um, and the junior advisory board, as well as extra scholarship opportunities for 12th grade students before you apply. We do offer accommodation. We've got three kinds for different lifestyles. If you're somebody who doesn't like to cook, choose a residence. If you're somebody who loves to cook, rent a flat or an apartment. 
Um, and if you're extra adventurous, we definitely recommend host families for those who don't speak Spanish. Again, my name is Micah, super excited to connect today. You don't need to speak Spanish to move to Spain. It's an awesome place to be and looking forward to staying connected if you have any questions. Thank you so much, IE. Next, we're gonna have Swiss Education Group. Hi, so I'm Jasmine. I am the California counselor at the Swiss Education Group, and we are a group of affordable hospitality, business, and culinary art schools in Switzerland. Something unique about us, this is actually one of our campuses, um, and it is called the Co Palace because 100 years ago, this was a palace hotel where kings, queens, people like the Rockefellers and F. Scott Fitzgerald stayed when they vacationed in Switzerland. And now this could be where you study and where you live. It's a beautiful historic building up in the Swiss Alps overlooking Lake Geneva. So Switzerland, for those who haven't been, I know EHL mentioned it briefly, um, but we are a super tiny country in the heart of Western Europe. And so lots of opportunities to travel once you're over there. You are not just in Switzerland, you really have all of Western Europe at your fingertips. Switzerland itself is known for being very safe, very stable, politically, socially, economically. It's also known for its high quality of life. So it's always at the top of lists of best places in the world to live or happiest countries in the world. And in terms of why you might want to study hospitality specifically there, it does have a very long history of hospitality. It is known as the birthplace of modern hospitality. Um, it was a really popular location hundreds of years ago for traveling aristocracy and nobility. And so the Swiss started building um, these palace hotels for people who were used to living in palaces back home and just codifying the systems of hospitality still in use to this day. And so they are world famous both for their hospitality and their hospitality education. In terms of culinary arts, we actually have uh, the highest density per capita of Michelin star restaurants in the world. And then of course, the Swiss also known for the chocolate, the cheese, so what better place to study culinary arts. And as I mentioned at the start, we are a group of four schools. And so each of the schools has a different area of specialization. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the individual schools, but we do have two schools focusing more on the business side of things. So at HIM, students can learn a combination of American style business and Swiss hospitality while specializing in luxury brand management and marketing, finance, HR, um, franchise management or senior living management. At Caesar Ritz, the focus is more on entrepreneurship, international business and tourism. And at the Swiss Hotel Management School, students there can specialize in hospitality, design management or events. And finally, we do have a culinary arts school where students can choose between a culinary and a pastry and chocolate arts pathway. And for our culinary program, we do offer uh, programs ranging from short term three month certificates to bachelor's or even a master's degree. I get a lot of students who kind of ask which one is the best one, and we will kind of work with you individually to figure out which one is the best fit for your interests and your goals. But they are all highly ranked. All of our schools were ranked in the top 10 globally in this year's world, uh, QS World University rankings within hospitality and leisure management category. I'll talk a little bit about the program itself because it is quite different than maybe some of the other American schools you've been looking into. You are able to graduate with your bachelor's degree in only three years. So not four years, you are able to get your degree in three years because there are no general eds. You go directly into your major from your first year and all of the classes you take will be within your major. Another thing that's a little bit different is that our students do two internships in their first two years. So you study for the first half of the year. And then in the second half of the year, we send you out to do an internship and put everything into practice in the real world. Both internships are mandatory at the bachelor's level. They are paid and they are international. So these are just some of the places our students have interned. As you can see, our students are all over the globe. If there's a country you've always wanted to visit, our career coaches will work with you to try to find those opportunities there. And while many of our students do choose to intern at four or five star hotels, we do also get students who intern at places like banks or luxury Swiss watchmakers or nonprofits or places like the UN or the International Basketball Federation. So again, our career coaches will work with you to try to pinpoint the opportunities that best match your interests, your goals. After your two internships, you would come back to us for your final year, and then you would graduate um, with a dual accreditation. You would receive a Swiss degree from us, as well as 
an American or UK degree, depending on your program of study. So for students who may want to come back to the States to work or to continue their studies, you do have a globally recognized degree. You finish a year ahead of most of your friends, and you would already have one year of paid work experience, likely in two different countries. In terms of the classes, all our classes are quite small, usually 15 to 25 students. Our classes are also in English, so you don't have to worry if you don't speak French or German, although you will be required to learn one of those languages um, when you do study with us as a second language. We also really try to bring the industry into the classroom and we really pride ourselves in our uh, practical learning. So these are just some of the industry leaders that we work with. And so they come in to do workshops, guest lectures, case studies, field trips. And so, you know, as examples of some things our students have done, our students have participated in stock market competitions um, run by Swiss banks. Our culinary students have developed a new line of fondue for um, Kempinski hotels. And so even within the classroom, lots of opportunities to put everything into practice. Our campuses are also all based in former hotels. So you have the facilities to put everything you're learning into practice. And if you're so if you're throwing a banquet, for example, it definitely helps to have that big um, banquet hall to throw your events. We are also very diverse. Um, our students come from all over the globe. Many of them, uh, most of them are not Swiss or American. So you are able to make friends from all over the world. Um, in terms of uh, career opportunities, it's a major reason a lot of students choose to come to us. 89% either hold management positions or have started their own company within five years of graduation. Just briefly about admissions, rolling admissions, we are test optional and we do have an online application, although we're not on Common App. Um, we have summer programs for younger students. And if you have any questions about our summer programs or any other part of the presentation, please feel free to reach out to me directly. I am the California counselor and also be leaving my contact information in the chat as well. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much, Swiss Education Group. Next, we're gonna have Griffith University. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Justine Somaji, and I'm the Regional Marketing Manager for North America at Griffith University in Australia. So first of all, let's talk about where in Australia uh, Griffith is actually located. So you'll see the state of Queensland highlighted there on the map. We have four campuses in the state's capital city of Brisbane. And then we have another campus at the Gold Coast, which is about an hour's drive from Brisbane. The Gold Coast campus is now actually our largest campus with about 18,000 students, and that's where most of our North American students uh, would go to study. I should also mention that the Gold Coast is a real tourism hub, not just for domestic um, tourists, but also for international tourists. So it's definitely a great place to study any kind of um, hospitality or tourism program. Lots of opportunities uh, for internships and for jobs upon graduation. So life in Queensland is pretty good. Um, we do have some amazing weather, uh, beautiful beaches, you know, waterfalls, national parks, all of that natural beauty, but also really clean, safe, vibrant cities with amazing public transport as well. Very important for students. So definitely something to consider. This is an aerial view of our Gold Coast campus and you'll see Surface Paradise in the background there. That's probably the best known part of the Gold Coast. So if you were living there, for example, you would jump on the G-Link tram uh, and get out to our campus in about 20 minutes. So you don't have to live on campus, though you can. Um, super easy to get there. And you'll see right in the middle of the campus there is the Griffith Business School, and that is where um, most of you would certainly start off taking uh, your classes. So just a quick overview of Griffith before we go any further. Um, Griffith was founded in the 1970s. So in the grand scheme of things, it is a pretty young university, um, but already we are ranked in the top 2% of universities worldwide uh, and on the global QS ranking of the top 50 universities under the age of 50 as well. So Griffith is a comprehensive university. We have a very wide range of program areas and we do research in all of those areas. Uh, you can complete programs from bachelor right up to PhD. And we're also very much uh, committed to teaching as well. And in fact, we are Australia's most awarded university for teaching. In terms of numbers, uh, overall Griffith has about 50,000 students, 
Um, but as I mentioned, not all on one campus. So the Gold Coast is the biggest, but we do have students spread across the five physical campuses. And of course, a lot of students studying with us online as well. Um, of those 50,000 students, usually between 15 and 20% um, are international students from over 130 different nationalities. So very multicultural uh, feel on campus, as you would expect uh, when you're walking around any city in Australia. Now, Griffith is very much about employability and you know, giving students the best chance to be employed upon graduation. So you will find work integrated learning opportunities throughout all of our programs at Griffith, and that includes our tourism and hospitality programs. Uh, we also offer a wide range of other services and programs to help students throughout their journey with Griffith and you know, launching them into the workforce. Uh, we have mentoring opportunities, we have leadership programs and all different services and programs run by our careers uh, team. So our international uh, tourism and hospitality programs are run by the Griffith Business School and it is AACSB accredited. So if you're not familiar with that, this is a North American accreditation. Not all schools around the world have this, even not even all schools within North America have it. Um, so it's just an extra assurance for you that you, know, you will be able to take your degree uh, back to the US or anywhere else. And just a few rankings uh, for our hospitality uh, program here. So you can see that we are ranked number one in Australia and number five globally uh, for hospitality and leisure management. Now, in regard to the program itself, um, for students coming in from high school, obviously, we are offering the Bachelor of International Tourism and Hotel Management. Like most undergraduate degrees in Australia, it is a three-year program. We don't do general electives um, in university in Australia. Uh, we do have a lot of flexibility in terms of intakes and campus. So you can start with us in February, July, or October. You can study at the Gold Coast, at the Nathan campus in Brisbane, or even online. We have a rolling admissions process. Um, so you can actually apply anytime in senior year. And the minimum entry requirements are all based on academics. So we just need your US high school diploma and your SAT score, no interviews, um, you know, no personal essays, no reference letters. It's all about the academic achievement. Uh, so you can choose from two majors within the program and you can also take a second major anywhere across the business school. Um, I should also mention with this program, you can also undertake a second degree, which is very popular uh, and quite common in Australia. So with just a little extra time on your degree, you can actually end up uh, with two. So I did mention the work uh, integrated learning opportunities. You do have you know, that option in this program as well. Um, in addition to that, you'll have access to industry professionals and our Business Plus program. And there is a career development course that all students have to take in final year as well. And the Business Plus program is just one more way that you know, we get you ready for the real life um, out in the business world. Um, so you'll see a, a bunch of different workshops that you can take, play, take part in uh, throughout your program. And these run every year. Um, so they're always available to you. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please drop them in the chat. All right, thank you so much, Griffith University. Next we'll have University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Okay, hi everyone. Um, my name is Alex Leepin. I am with UNLV, so University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Uh, as you can see in this photo, we are just less than two miles away from the famous Las Vegas Strip, what we like to call the entertainment capital of the world. UNLV uh, is a large urban public research institution. So we are a state university. There's over 30,000 students here at UNLV um, studying you know, anything from business to fine arts to health sciences. We have over 300 different academic programs. Um, but probably our flagship program and uh, what has UNLV standing out ab above other institutions is our amazing Hera College of Hospitality. 
Uh, I'm the director of recruitment, and I always like to share when I talk about our program, just kind of at the core, everything that we're teaching really goes back to kind of the definition of hospitality. And, uh, and hospitality really is all about creating experiences for people. And if that's something that resonates with you in some way, then a program in hospitality management is a really good decision for you. Um, our students uh, are seeking careers in a variety of hospitality uh, sectors from hotels and resorts to entertainment and events, food and beverage and culinary, gaming and casinos, meeting and conventions and so forth. But uh, while those are traditional hospitality segments, our students actually get the foundation in hospitality management that they can really launch a career in any industry with those fundamentals. Uh, so a little bit about what makes UNLV Hospitality special. Uh, a couple things I like to call it the trifecta that I talk to students about. Uh, we are an internationally ranked uh, program in hospitality management. In the recent QS rankings, we were number two on the international list, which makes us number one in the country. Uh, so we're internationally recognized. We're also very affordable, especially for my students in California. Uh, we're a partner with the Western Undergraduate Exchange Program, meaning that you can merely cut your uh, out-of-state tuition in half if you qualify for that scholarship. And then, of course, we're in the amazing city of Las Vegas, Nevada, where our students can actively work and intern in some of the best properties and resorts uh, really in the world. And so we have access to uh, a, a number of wonderful industry executives that really open their doors to our students. And so it's a great place to not only learn in the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. A little bit about our bachelor's program. It is a bachelor of science in hospitality management. So we like to say that we're preparing our students with those management theories and those operational competencies that are gonna help you launch your career in hospitality. So what makes up that degree program is our, it, it, it is developed very similar to a traditional four year bachelor's program where you're going to have your general education courses, but you're also gonna have your hospitality core um, but our program is actually designed to be quite flexible. So you can get that, those fundamentals in hospitality management, but also choose a passion and choose a concentration in hospitality. You, can also, you also have room in your, in your program here at UNLV to choose a minor as well. So if you want to even double major or minor in some other academic program, you can do that and still finish in four years. Uh, we also have some experiential learning requirements that are part of our program as well. Our program really is structured uh, very similar. You'll see a lot of those business fundamentals in those core courses that we teach, which means we're teaching you those business fundamentals, but with under that hospitality lens. So you're learning everything from finance and accounting and leadership and strategic management, but all related back to the hospitality industry. Currently, we have a number of concentrations our students can choose from event management, gaming management, human resources management, a restaurant and beverage management. And we also have a specialty program in PGA golf management. Uh, I mentioned a little bit about our experiential requirements. So we do require our students to complete work experience in the industry. They have to complete a thousand work hours before graduation. And you also have to complete an internship for credit. We have an amazing career center that helps our students connect with uh, a number of different employers for those internship and job opportunities, as well as volunteer work while you're here in our program. We also have an amazing mentor program where our students are paired one-on-one -on -one with an industry mentor that holds a position that they hope to have one day. So our junior and senior level students have that ability as well. This is just a snapshot of a few of the companies that we work with to recruit our students. We have over 100 different uh, industry partners that actively recruit our students. I just like to mention that one kind of cool opportunity that happened recently. The newest property on the Las Vegas Strip is the Mega Resort Resorts World. It's a multi-property um, resort. And we had 23 interns over this past summer that got to intern and be a part of the grand opening of this multi-property mega resort. And it was so cool. They got a really kind of a once in a lifetime experience. And again, um, possible because of our location here in Las Vegas. So I wanted to just mention a couple things about admissions. We do have the same requirements as uh, general campus. You have to fill out the UNLV application. We also have an, our application is available on the Common App. You need a 3.0 uh, weighted core GPA or 1120 SAT or 22 ACT. It's a either or, so whatever um, 
you're able to qualify with. We have a priority deadline of November 15th. That means that if you apply by that date, you'll be considered first for our scholarships. And the Western Undergraduate Scholar Exchange Scholarship really does help bring those costs down. So if you qualify, um, you almost cut your costs in half, which is pretty amazing. And then we also have hospitality scholarships available as well. And I just wanted to mention, check out our virtual tour. You can check out our cool building and other campus highlights. Contact us at hospitalityadmissions at unlv.edu. And I'm here for any questions. I'll put my information in the chat. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, UNLV. That was some great information that you shared with us. And so now um, to close off this session for the evening, if we have all our representatives back, and if you all could give um, everyone some word of advice as they go through the college process, that'd be wonderful and great. And if you can answer this question in the order that you present it, that'd be wonderful also. I'll give the same advice as yesterday. Definitely pursue your passion. When you love what you do, it's not work, it's fun. And when you love what you study, it's not work, it's fun. Um, my piece of advice would really just um, lean on the admissions offices. All the counselors are here to service you. So don't be afraid or feel like you're bothering us when you have simple questions. Reach out to us as much as possible. And it really just helps as well with demonstrating your interest for that university. And sometimes that can go a long way with throughout the admissions process. I'd also like to add a piece of advice is creating an Gmail account for all the colleges that you're communicating with, the applications that you're doing, create a little folder and kind of keep track of everything to make your life a little bit easier. Well, that's great advice from everyone. I would maybe add that um, don't be afraid to take the path less traveled. Um, don't let the fact that what you're doing is maybe different from what all of your friends are doing be the thing that holds you back from pursuing what you're really excited about. Because once you get over here, whether that's abroad or out of state, you're going to be surrounded by other people who have kind of taken that same leap of faith and have the same kind of dreams and passion as you do. Yeah, I agree. Just piggybacking on what Jasmine has said there, um, keep your options open. You don't know what you don't know, right? So just, you know, do your research, find out what's out there because, you know, the world really is your oyster. There are so many opportunities. I'll just add, um, you know, do your work to make sure that cost is not what holds you back from what you want to do. Apply for more scholarships than you think you need. Um, there are a lot of scholarships out there specifically for hospitality um, with uh, industry folks and foundations that really want to support future leaders. So apply, can't hurt. And all of a sudden, what you want to do is possible within your means. You're on mute, John. Got it. Thanks. Thank you all for the information that you shared with us. And as we close off, thank you all for attending this event as well. Please know that there'll be other sessions going on for the rest of this week as well. And don't forget that if you want to record this session, it's going to be available at strivescan.com slash COIS in about a week. So thank you all for coming with us and best of luck with everything. All right. Thank you all. Have a good night. <laughs>